Straight off the plane from Miami. Believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Khaled is here. We the best. Yes. New York, we the best. <laughs> What's good? My back hurts. I'm envy. Why is your back hurt? My, I don't know. I think I have bad pillows. So I'm I'm in pain. I'm dozing on pain pills. Sorry. Wow. Yeah. All right. Khaled says album is well, you know, successful. He did a first mixtape album. Very I mean, successful. Thank you, my brother. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to do big things, take it to another level. My album is called We the Best. Who? We. Envy Miss Jones Hot 97. We the best. And Michael Sean, too. Absolutely. <laughs> now tell us a little bit who's on this album. Um, this album, well, you know, my first single is called We Take It Over. Uh, Akon, T.I., Rick Ross, uh, Joey Crack, Lil Wayne Birdman, produced by Danger. The record's crazy. Um, Y'all show me nothing but love. I appreciate the love. And then the video. Video's crazy. It's a movie. Yeah, video's crazy. Shout out to Gil Green. The video's a movie. Um, we did, you know, reenacted some hypnotized scenes. Mm -hmm. Diddy, I'm coming, homie. I'm coming. That had to have been hard doing a movie in the video. How did you? Because the video is only supposed to be so many minutes. How did you? How did? How were you able to decide what actual parts would go into? Um, movie? Well, well the, the record is like four minutes long, so we added like a little intro just to make it that movie feel. And mm -hmm. you know, BET, MTV, you know, what I'm saying they. They give us certain limits and they let us edit stuff. So they figured out what edits they wanted and they end up Got cutting it. the video. Now they okay. pulled the scene out of you remember um, <clears throat> and hypnotized when Biggie's and Puff in the car and they backing down the street. Yes, they did that scene. They also mimicked the scene nice. uh, when they were on the boat. Yeah, yeah, the boat. The, but the boat no, no, is no, no, not no. a yacht. Yeah. What kind of boat is that? That's like a smuggler boat. You seen um, <laughs> <laughs> um the video is fly. Like the video is is, is not no ten thousand dollar video. The it's whole like an Elian Gonzalez but, boat. But that one boat. <laughs> it's like one of them Italian wood exclusive. No, it's like a three hundred thousand dollar boat. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. So um, but you know that um, Sopranos. Mm -mm. The first episode of the right, new right. Sopranos, they you had that boat in there. Oh, the wood. So, yeah, yeah, that's the boat. That's the, the boat. boat. Oh, remember when he was telling um, Bobby to, that he needed him to take care of something mm -hmm. when they were out in the lake? Okay. Yeah. So the boat is co-signed. So it's a, a dumping in a body boat. Big time. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dump a body in the water boat. All right. All right. That all makes sense. Now it makes sense. Now what's the difference between doing this album and the first album? Because the first album usually artists they'll throw you a bone. They'll I, I got you, Cali. But the second album that's when usually they want to re up. I mean, when the first album was history, man, because um, it got a chance for me to show the world that I can make music, put records together, mm -hmm. and drop hit records. You know what I'm saying? I come from radio, so I make hit mm -hmm. records. I don't play just putting records together. This album became bigger. Mm -hmm. It's just going to get bigger and bigger. And we taking over is a perfect example. It's just a huge record. Can you explain to the person that's trying to understand the difference between a hit record and... And a regular record. Absolutely. Um, listen to Hot 97. Compare your music to all the, the records that's in the top eight of eight in y'all's countdown. Well, e easy, Khaled. Easy. I mean, no, but the thing is that I tell people... <laughs> so every everything they play here isn't necessarily... I mean, you come from radio, but you also are an artist. Right. There are two different games going on here. There's right. the artistry game of I'm putting this out here because I know that music needs this. Right. It may not necessarily get a lot of airplay, but the music world needs this. Right. People need this. Right. Then there's the radio side of we don't give a damn about creativity. If it's creative, that's great, too. But we want what people keep requesting. Absolutely. So what is the recipe, if at all, for making a hit record and still keeping your creativity? I mean, production has a lot to do with it. The, um, the beat got to be, you know, well produced. Okay. It got to have a sound. Um, you know, sometimes you can take chances with your sound and be real creative. Right. Like I did on We Taking Over. I wanted to go a little left to show people like, yo, let me take it to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? And I put the artist and when I put Acorn on the chorus, mm -hmm. I was talking to Acorn like, yo, Acorn, man, I need this chorus to be a movie. I need something to be different. I need to be crazy. I need something to be like an anthem. So we went into it like something that people going to sing. So it was already scripted out. You just didn't get in the studio and just start now, playing it by ear. When I got the beat, I knew who I wanted to put on it, but Akon had to set it off first. Right. And then I got with the T.I., my brother Joe Crack, Rick Ross. You know, when they heard the chorus, they knew we had to come in with a certain type of flow, you know? Do you still enjoy doing this, or is, has it become now you have to top yourself each time? I mean, it's 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 a, a competitive business, and it's stressful, but I do love it. I'd rather be doing this than anything else, so I, I do love nice. it. Nice. DJ Khaled is here. Now, are you still on air? Uh, yeah, I'm on air Monday through Friday, 6 to 11, number one ratings in Dade County, Miami, Florida. We the best. How do you juggle your touring schedule? Because we have a lot of DJs here that also do album stuff like Flex. And how do you juggle and still? 
Um, I eat, I either take one of my vacations or go out on the weekends or beg my PD. And you still have time for a personal life? Uh, no, I, I, I live the radio life, studio life every day. That's all I do, 24 hours music. It's music. Wow. Now, production. Now, Believe who have that. you worked with? Um, I work with everybody from Fat Joe to Rick Ross to Lil Wayne to Birdman, uh, the Fabulous, the Trick Daddy. I mean, I work with a lot of people and I also manage um, some of the bigger, bigger producers that's out right now, the Runners. Right. Um, they produce Rick Ross Hustling, Go Getter mm. with R. Kelly. How'd you meet them? Mm. Um, they from Orlando. I met them through my brother DJ Nasty, and we you know joined a management company, and uh, we you know signed the Runners, and they just hurting them. And they just ran with they, it. And they did like five joints on R. Kelly's new album. <laughs> I mean, they doing joints, man. We the best. So your brother's a DJ too? Uh, no, not my brother. He says my, brother's music. Brother, that's him. My, my my homie. Oh, you know all right. Saying? I'm thinking it's a blood blood thing. <laughs> and Fat Joe manages you. Yeah, Fat Joe's my brother. That's my best friend. That's like I'm the godfather of his daughter. Shout to Azariah out there. What it does. Shout to Cyrus out there. We the best. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, they go to Lorena. <laughs> yeah, Lorena, what it does, baby. We the best. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All right. Well, you got any shout outs you want to do? Um, I want to shout everybody out on Hot 97 for showing me love. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just showed me so much love. I really appreciate it. The whole building, the janitor, too. You know what I'm saying? Just shout out to Hot that would 97. would be Lolly. And I just appreciate the love. New York, DJ Kyle album. We the best, New York. <laughs> we, not I, but we. There it is. And you got to come back. Absolutely. I want to come back, man. I want I to I get on them turntables. I want to play you some music. I want to do some things. We'd love to have you, too. Of course. DJ Khaled, everybody. Jones and the Hot 97.